Matt Poe is our special guest, everybody. And if you don't know, uh, he is a sports performance specialist. <coughs> He's been uh, explaining that uh, throughout the program. Let's go to the phone. Call on line one. Thanks, and go ahead. Hey, Hope, Matt, Jim K. Great show. Hello, Jim hey, K. Jim, How you. are you, buddy? Great. I've got two questions. Uh, Matt, you've not talked anything tonight about your experience at Tennessee, where, of course, you were greatly underutilized. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. My question is, how has the training uh, changed from the time you were at Knoxville <clears throat> playing through today? And then secondly, is there anything that you could offer hope to improve his, his golf game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially off the tee, right, Jim? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, thanks, my friend. Hey, by the way, a great golf tournament, the, the Jim K. Uh, golf Tournament for Children's C uh, Cancer Research that right. we both played in. Sure. Hey, Jim, I never did find out. What did I win? Uh, I hope uh, you won a uh, $2,000 a gift certificate that uh, we've already spent. <laughs> I knew that would be the case. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it, buddy. Hey. All right. All right. Go ahead. Th that's a great question uh, because when I was at Tennessee, there there wasn't any – what's speed development? And I'd come home in the summers, and, and I'd be dabbling in speed development. Of course, it didn't help me much, but uh, anyways – I was going to say, how a big guy like you learn all about speed? Hey, you know what? I was the biggest I ever got in Tennessee was 217 pounds. Really? Yeah. So, uh, all right. When I when well, I started making a little money, something since you well, left. Yeah, <laughs> money. The the drive to make a little money powerlifting probably uh, made me a lot more. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> back in the early 90s, there, there there wasn't really any speed development. There weren't coaches going around the country and doing seminars. There wasn't anything like that. Now, again, every, everybody knows about it. Right. But the difference is, to answer Jim's question, there was no speed development. And, and they were working more on three major lifts. They really came out of the powerlifting world. And we were working on an incline press, a bench press, and a squat. We weren't doing the powerlifts. We were doing the, a couple of them. And then it's got, it's got, high, it's got the high-intensity training, a lot of reps. It's, it, it's got the using a lot of apparatus, a lot of uh, gimmicks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But again, to answer Jim's question, it's coming back around because I get more emails now saying, listen, how can we take what you do to work with our football program? So it's coming back around to the basics of getting absolute strength through powerlifting, through strongman training. All right, let's talk about Matt Paul for a second. You uh, were well, powerlifting, got hurt. Right. What's sure. the story? Well, in 2005, I finished fourth in the Strongest Man America contest, uh, which was monumental for me. Um, I finished third in the Texas Strongest Man competition the next year. Those were about the two biggest meets in America on the, on the uh, circuit that I lift on, which is five lifts. So I, I was moving along pretty good. I was, I was making some money. I was getting recognition. Um, ranked number one in my push press. That's the overhead mm -hmm. lift. Mm -hmm. Last year, September 21st, I blew a disc out in my back, getting ready for a deadlift demonstration. Got a hematoma on my spine, ripped my periformis, it's the muscle basically sits Do over I your side. Oh yeah, we have yeah. <laughs> it sits over your sciatic nerve. But, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, it so was it was very it was just devastating. I mean, I couldn't walk. So you were done. Yeah. Some some woman was in my office the other day and she was telling me about her husband had a back problem and she goes, "You don't understand." When that happens, I was like, "Listen, lady, <laughs> I I, I, let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you." But um, it involved six hours of rehab a day for about five and a half months and. The doctors that I did see, because none of them will tell you the truth, they're scared to, there's somebody like me, they're scared to tell me to do anything because they know, hey, you can do it again, I'll be in there doing it the next day. But I just overcame it through, through just a lot of heart. Uh, overcame it. Yeah. They told me I'd never overhead press again. Five months later, I was doing over 300 pounds again. They couldn't believe it. And so you, but you got a reputation because of that, didn't you? It, it, ex or it definitely enhance. helped it and intensified it because the, I video this. I've got over 175 videos on my website, but I've probably got 30, 40, 50 dedicated to this. And the day I got hurt, I got on a video and I said, I'm hurt, this stinks, I hate it. And you see the pain in my eyes, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna, this is gonna serve as an inspiration to you. And if you're my competitors, you better watch out. Cause you think so I'm, I'm down and out, but I got news for you. And I was out training in the winter. I went down to Destin in December, made sure I was in that 48-degree water, 
I, I told the therapist that I can't I can't be inside anymore. I've got to take outside. a break from y'all. I got to do Matt Post out here. So when uh, you talk about teaching heart, it oh. comes from your heart. <laughs> it, it sure did. And now I'm as I'm as mobile as I've ever been. Call on line one. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, my name's Danny, and I was just going to ask Matt what his professional opinion of uh, doing the lifts, for instance, squats. I grew up in the 80s in high school and whatnot and did a lot of squats and kind of kind of injured my back a little bit at times. But I wanted to know what's your opinion of, of athletes today still doing squats? Are you a fan of it? And uh, do, you, do you like the leg press? What's your opinion of the leg press? And I'll, uh, I'll hang up and listen. All right, appreciate your call. I'm, I'm a big fan of squats. I'm a big fan of leg press. But if you do either one of them wrong, you're going to get hurt. That's all I have to say about that. So you need somebody that knows what they're doing when you start. Exactly. If somebody says, hey, we're going to pay you to go squat, and you have a chance to not only earn the money we're going to pay you, but you can earn the money to win. You know what? I'm going to love squatting. But I look at myself as a true straw man. If you want me to train for something, I'm going to use – thank God my natural blessed ability through my father's blood and wherever that came from to do it. Uh, don't, so. don't, don't, don't go too far with where that blood came from. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're Italians I'm and a little kidding. Irish. So. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think that's the way with anything you do in the weight room. You can do a body, you can do a body weight squat, and if you're doing it wrong, you're going to put pressure on the musculoskeletal system that will hurt you. What about the average American? What about the average man and woman working today doing whatever it is they do and they don't want to be power lifters and they just exactly. want to have a healthy lifestyle? What do we need to do, Matt? Your definition of wellness does not reflect mine, okay? My definition of wellness is I got to keep my numbers up, okay? Your Learn to define your own definition of wellness. What can you do? Move every so day. So you're calling do, me out a little bit. I'm here. calling you out, Hope. It isn't all about well, golf and you know your what? 50 push-ups. I'm gonna come back. I, you know what? I can do more. Yeah, you can do more. Me. You can do more. All right. What do you got in the package over there? Okay. Am I gonna? I be want you to do this, Hope, right here. Am I gonna be embarrassed? Okay. Do this. Mm, uh, got a little bit. Or you want? Uh, I want you to Carmack, go back. Is that what we're doing, Carmack? I, yeah. I want you to go back to 1997. Okay. That's the year of the Titans. Uh, thing. Hey, okay. 1997. Go ahead. All right, I'm back there. You remember when they went to the Super Bowl? Yes, I do. What was the date on that? What day was that? The date. Oh, the date. Uh, the date they were in Atlanta at the Super Bowl. I'm not a huge Titans fan, by the way. You I know, do whatever like it was. Again, I, but anyway, this is going to be in Fort. I don't want to. This is going to be in Fort. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm not taking a test here. This is my show. Okay. All right. <laughs> remember 1997. Yeah. You went to something called Peter Lowe's Success Seminar. I did. And they had Margaret Thatcher, Thatcher there. Yeah. They had. Uh, You're right. You're right. They had a, a plethora right. of people there trying You're to right. motivate. Exactly. And I heard through the grapevine you were whining and crying because you wanted to get a picture with uh, Big George. Talking Oops. about Big George Fraser here. Oh. And a friend of mine who posed as a press, he, he made a fake press pass got in yeah. and was in that room with you and everybody was scared to talk to George. But oh, there's he, George Foreman. Wow. That's George for sure. Foreman, yeah. 1997. That's George Foreman. And, and you helped wow. him dress that night. There's another picture. Oh, yeah. That's when you were thinking oh, about Oh, I did an interview with him. I, I would like to share this with you, but I don't know what we can uh, – camera one, we'll get it up here. That's George Foreman. I don't know if I said George Fraser. That's George Foreman. No, that's George Foreman. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I might have said Fraser. Uh, and that. by the way, Matt, did you know – that I was in Zaire, Africa in 1974 when he fought Muhammad Ali. Rumble in the Jungle? Rum you didn't know that, did you? I didn't, I didn't know, know you were there, but I knew about Rumble in the Jungle I because know. I've watched that documentary right, several there's, times. There's George, and he's sitting in a chair, and I did an interview with him, and I was just helping him get a, uh, a microphone on there. Wow, that's neat. And I, I will say my friend Sonny, that's all I'm going to say, is when he found out I was going to be on the show, he, he said, said, I got something for you. Now, look, here's <laughs> another couple things. Oh, we're not done yet. We're not finished yet. Okay. How much time we le got left, Andrew? We got one minute. Oh, I got to be fast. Okay. You got to go. I lifted one of the biggest Burmese pythons in the world over uh -huh. my head, and I want you to have that. Don't touch the part where it's a snake. It might, might, might grow shit. Might scare me. Wow, look at that. And then there, this is when I dusted about 300 people in six hours. So wow. that was the strongest man in America wow. right there. 
That's pretty neat. That's but I know neat. you're, so I heard you might be a snake lover. So <laughs> <laughs> He does not like snakes. Oh, my here. gosh. Yeah. But anyway. I want you to keep these pictures here. And, uh, Thank you. I appreciate you having me on your show. Well, look, I appreciate having you here. Yes, and I can promise you because we're not done yet. We've got more things to explore in the area uh, that you're involved in, specifically uh, sports performance uh, specialist and helping the average person. You call me out, and I'm not done. Okay? Uh -huh. I, I didn't appreciate you. that. I want I you to know that. You gonna, you gonna create That's some okay. separation in the broadcasting world? You know what? Bring you know what on. I'm saying? No, I don't know if you. I don't All know right. if you can hang. <laughs> you talk a good game, but I haven't seen. So I don't know if you can hang yet. I hey, we'll I don't out. sing it. I bring it. <laughs> Back after this. Right after this. <laughs> Matt Poe has been my special guest tonight. I think it's been an outstanding program. I've uh, learned an awful lot about uh, sports performance uh, enhancement, shall we say, speed. Yes. Uh, separation this separation thing I'm really really fascinated with I think a lot of people out there would be too and are too when you talk about and you're the first person I ever heard talk about coaching uh, or encouraging shall we say heart well thank you huh? and, and heart just that being that. that 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 is the essence of you and accomplishing whatever it is you want to accomplish a lot of people in all of these seminars like you talk about uh, they talk about being all you can be yes. but they don't get into that heart thing that separation is a great I believe to the it. kids out there, athlete, you can do anything you want to do. Got to go. Matt Poe, we'll have you back. Thanks, okay. everybody. See you next time. Have a great rest of the night.